Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hoping that you're having a good math day. Thank you for watching this clip on solving a trig equation. If we expand the left hand side, we can see that we can use this very nice identity that sine squared plus cosine squared equal to 1. And then from there, we're going to use another trick says sine over 2 alpha is equal to twice of sine alpha cosine alpha. Okay, If you can see those in your head, let's get started. On the exam, if you turn a blank or nothing comes out, write the expansion at least. Don't just give it up because on the test, the worst thing you can possibly do is leave it completely blank. And that shows to your teacher that A, you don't care, or even worse, you are too scared to try anything. You don't want to leave that in impression for anyone grading the test. Okay, so here I moved one over. Now this is what I was saying earlier. Sine over 2x is equal to 1. Now once we get here, the Chinese say a picture is worth so thousand words. Let's call this theta. A sine curve repeats itself. I'm draw, drawing one period from zero to, zero to two pi. I'm looking for sine x equal to one, or it peaks at one, and this one is at half the pi. This is pi and two pi. Okay, so my solution set then becomes two x, whatever this variable is, equal to pi over two plus 2m pi, where n belongs to the natural number, or it's minus 1, plus minus 1, plus minus 2, with a 0. Okay, so, and then I'm going to divide it by 2 for both of them. You can't just divide it for this chunk. Got to divide both of them. So then x, solution-wise, is equal to pi over 4, plus m pi. The reason that x here is repeated every m pi is because when I'm drawing for theta, which is 2x, okay, if I were to draw for x, this thing gets shrinked. I kind of get squished in a way. I don't know if squished is a way, is a word. My daughter likes to use it, squished. Anyway, the periodicity for this sine of 2x is no longer 2 pi. It's actually a pi. So for every pi period, pi is here actually. It repeats itself. Okay, so this this explains why it's m pi. Anyway, unless your teacher asks specifically for x belongs to zero to two pi, leave it in a general form. Okay, where n here belongs to the natural numbers. All right. Hope it's clear. This is how we handle this particular trig equation. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pam. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.